Do you know that you need to report to immigration each time you transfer residence here in South Korea? You should, otherwise there's a financial implication. How do you do it? Where do you do it? More of that when you watch the full video. But of course, before we do that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you will be updated each time I upload a new video. Hello, this is Wendy. There are several ways to report your change of address to immigration. One, you go to immigration, the immigration office. Two, you go to the Jumin Center or the Community Center. And three, you can do that online at the High Seoul website. What we did was we did it online because it's convenient. <laughs> but you've got to do it before the 14-day period. Otherwise, you can no longer do that online. You have to go to the immigration because you need to pay when you fail to report it within the 14-day deadline. So that's very, very important. And the longer you delay it, the bigger or the higher the charge for you will be. Okay, so it's very, very important. I could not stress it long enough why you need to um, report your change of address to immigration. Okay, so aside from compliance, immigration law, you will be charged and paying for something that you could have done easily is not nice at all. Okay, so I'll show you how we do the online registration of our change of address. Okay, so we transferred house and as per immigration policy, we need to report the change in address. We can do it online. We go to highkorea.go.kr Remember, you've got to use only the Internet Explorer. Otherwise, it will not work. And you've got to have uh, created an account already before. So we log in and then we input our details. There's an English option. We always use the English option. And then you go to the petition application and then e-application. Look for the option to change your address change declaration. Agree, just agree to those above. We did this for my husband for a different account, my my account, my both my children. We have to do it individually. You've got to upload the document which will prove that you are living in the current address. So contract and then you apply. That's your online application. We do this so that we don't get fined heftily. It's it's a big fine. It's um depends on the immigration, <laughs> maybe 200, 300. And that's it. You will be notified of the change in address. As soon as you have updated your your address at the immigration, you have received the confirmation that your address has been changed you can go to the immigration itself or to your community center to have your arc updated as well in your arc so this is my arc it has my details there and then at the back it has your address ganito sa system since they've already confirmed the the change in address Nasa system, sa immigration, naka-change na yung address ko. But you've got to have it updated here as well. What I have here now is my previous home address. So I need to go to either one, the immigration center, 
or two to the community center. The community center is just around your dong. You have to ask where your community center is and then bring it there to have this updated. So, yun yung gagawin ko ngayon. I'll have it updated there. The Jumin Center is just right outside the apartment complex where I live in. There, that's the Jumin Center. Beside the Jumin Center is the police station. Usually, that's the setup. In the previous area where I lived in, the Jumin Center, the police station is across the Jumin Center. So, yeah, that's how it works. This is where you do all your government um, <laughs> matters, residence matters. I'm now inside the Jumin Center. I got my number and I'm number 59. So I'll just wait. It's currently number 51. But they are usually very fast, you know. I just had to fill out the form and then the staff has to put the sticker of the new address on our ARC. And that's it. All in all, it was a simple, easy process. Always remember, compliance to immigration laws is very important. I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time.